All right, welcome back everyone. Here we have uh, yet again another couple that has a 0% chance of ever working out. I don't mean the chances are low. I don't mean it's unlikely to work out. I mean there is a 0% chance that this will ever work out, and I can say that with absolute confidence. If these two are still together in 10 years, I will get a tattoo of this man's face on my forehead. This is another example of a guy who is clearly being taken advantage of and used, and honestly, she doesn't even really try to hide it. This woman is 24 years old and has two children with two different men, and listen to the way that she talks about her ex. And this is in the first episode. Episode. This is one of the first things that we hear about her. We talked for four or five months. He told me he was going to come to visit me. I said, yes, I'm going to visit him. I love him a lot. So right away, she lets it slip that she is still in love with her ex, who is currently in prison. She says herself that she likes to date bad guys who are kind of dangerous in a way, so that's why she chose to date this 34-year-old man from New York who's never had a girlfriend. And when I say date, what I really mean is he gives her money and financially supports her until her ex gets out of prison. And I do feel bad for this guy because he's a very nice person, and I think he really just does want to find love and have a family. But this is not the way, and you will see why in this video. Esta, la sal, esta sala. Me la dio Mai, es la nevera. Me la dio Mai también. Esta estufa me la dio Mai hace como awesome. un mes. So right away we find out that she got pregnant after her second visit to see her ex-boyfriend when he was in prison. And when she finally gets around to mentioning this poor guy Mike, all she does is talk about all the things that he's bought her. Basically her entire apartment was purchased by Mike. But that's what true love is all about, right? Taking advantage of your partner while you're still secretly in love with your criminal ex-boyfriend. Pero Mai no es el hombre por el que yo me siento atraída exactamente porque pues a mí me gustan así grandote. I love the cut to this picture accompanied with that little drum beat right there. That was pretty nice. I like big men, she says, and then it cuts to a little guy wearing a red toga with a white cloth. Also, she says that Mike is not the kind of guy that she's usually attracted to, but it's clear that she isn't even attracted to him at all, except for the fact that he has money. And it's not even like this guy has a lot of money. He lives with his father, and there's no way in hell that he can actually afford to give her all these gifts that he's giving her. Mis parejas, policía, tatuadores. Trabajadores de fincas, hasta narcos. May no puede ser lindo de físico, pero de corazón lo es. Don't lie to us. Are you attracted to his heart or do you just like the fact that he can cover your rent for a while? So in this first scene we're going to look at, Mike is questioned by his friends about their relationship. He wants to be a father to Jimena's children, so they all go out shopping so he can buy toys to bring them. Did you folks find everything all right? Yeah, we did. Sure did. Oh, okay. Thank Good. you. Oh, you made very nice selections. Who were these toys for? They're for my girlfriend's children. This isn't really related to the subject of this video, but why is this lady wearing two pairs of glasses? Can someone explain this to me? It would be funny if it cut back to Mike and his glasses were missing now. Oh, how nice. He's actually going to Columbia to meet his girlfriend for the first time. Wow, you yep. may be in for quite a surprise there. Yeah. Flying to another country to meet a new girlfriend? I love how they just start interviewing this lady like she's part of the show. Like she had such a personality they had to interview her afterwards. She should just tag along for the rest of it. She kind of reminds me of Mama Murphy from Fallout. But if it doesn't work out, I hope he gets a good cup of coffee anyhow. All right, why does this lady have more of a personality than anyone who's ever appeared on the show and she's only been here for like 30 seconds? Are you really sure that you want to do this? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this. So how much money have you been spending? How much money? I love how it's not even a question of if, it's just, all right, Mike, how much money? How much are we talking about? So I do help her out with like, like rent and things like that temporarily. Um, what? Oh no, you don't have to worry about me. It's just temporary. It's only until she breaks up with me and gets back together with one of her kids' fathers. At that point, hopefully I won't have to pay her rent anymore, but we'll see. By the way, I just want to say that don't think just because I'm making fun of this guy that I don't feel sympathy for him, but you know, he's on a reality TV show, he's fair game, I'm gonna make fun of him. That doesn't mean that this woman is not a bad person for taking advantage of him. What else have you paid besides rent? Um, so the that I helped her, helped her with like the, the fridge and the washing machine that's it wow it must be frustrating as his friends because you can tell they really do care about him and don't want him to get hurt but unfortunately it's inevitable how do you know that there's not another Mike in Colorado Ha! Huh. The dude she talks to in Colorado's name is Frank dumbass and I know he's not as special as I am because she doesn't let him pay her rent she could have like, all these all guys all these guys all over just ch 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 this chick's milking you. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this woman was talking to David as well. This is beyond red flags. This is like the nuclear air horn blowing across the country. 
your TV <laughs> messages are coming up saying, warning, warning, warning. <laughs> He's not getting it. <laughs> the floodgates are closing. All right, I like these two a lot. They're very cool, and, I, and they actually have some common sense. So next, of course, is the classic airport scene. <laughs> Wow, I can just feel how infectious her passion and excitement is about meeting him. It must be really great to just finally meet the person you're in love- I mean, the person that's been paying your rent for a little while. Seriously though, I don't really- Oh, it's time, it's time, it's halfway through the video. It's time for a Jovi moment. Strip clubs are fun! <laughs> All right, there you go. Back to the video. What is she saying, Mikey? I have an idea. She, uh, a little bit. Oh, I forgot to mention that he barely speaks any Spanish and she barely speaks any English. So how the hell is a relationship going to work? I don't understand. Like most of the time they just sit there and stare into space because they can't even talk to each other. And when they do talk to each other, he needs to have a phone out to just translate everything they're saying. That's a pain in the ass. Cuando vi a Mai por primer vez que fui a recoger al aeropuerto, pues me sorprendió. No pensé que fuera tan bajito, pero cuando lo vi yo dije, wow, es más bajito. So right away she has to point out how short Mike is, which uh, that clearly shows that she's attracted to his heart and what's on the inside and not his appearance. Seriously, the entire time she's not even trying to hide how unenthusiastic she is about this guy. Jimena doesn't really speak any English. Learn your English. It's been uh, like a struggle to communicate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. So you're trying to tell me that if you guys don't speak the same language at all, it's tough to communicate? I have never even heard of such a thing. And if, if only there was something you could do to make communication easier. I mean, obviously you're not going to learn her language. Why the hell would you ever do that? That would take effort and it would make things more convenient. Why the hell would you ever want to do that? Our first night together um, in bed was the best time that I've ever had. Eh, mi normal. <laughs> nah, el otro mundo, entonces. Wow, that's gotta feel good to hear. Although he can't understand it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like how she couldn't even be bothered to lie and say that it was good. She's just like, eh, it was normal, whatever. He's just here to pay my rent anyway. Can you understand what <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need help with that one. <laughs> I like how they just laugh this off as if it's never going to be an issue that they can't even understand each other. Also, what face is this? What type of emotion is she trying to convey? Is she in pain? Is she laughing? Is she crying? I, what the hell? So in this next scene, they go on a little vacation together and uh, she drops quite the bomb on him. Mm. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Did he just rip a fart while they were making out? Is that what just happened? Or is that the camera guy? This trip is for both of us to get to know each other better, to ask us anything we want, and to be honest, just so we can reassure ourselves that we both love each other and want to spend the rest of our lives together. So right before this, Jimena told him that she cannot have kids anymore, even though that was something that Mike really wanted, was children of his own. So Mike is worried that she's keeping other things from him as well, and uh, wow, what do you know? It turns out she is. What exactly happened with Harold and Juan's fathers? Nunca conviví con ellos. Entonces, no, nunca hubo una relación entre nosotros así. I'm sorry, but it's hard to believe that she's only 24 with this much baggage and this much of a past. And then Mike basically finds out that he has to give up his dream of ever having his own children for this woman. ¿Puedes hablarme de algunas de esas personas? Eh, sí. Yo conviví con un sicario. I lived with a hitman. Oh great, that's awesome. So she's into hitmen, drug dealers, and criminals. This guy will fit right in. Yeah, I'm sure if her hitman ex-boyfriend came along, Mike would definitely be able to protect her and her children. Me mandó a matar. Bueno, me tenía encerrada. Mike, this is when it's time to leave. You need to go home. You need to get out of this situation. Please, for the love of God. Después de tener a Harold y Juan, tuve una relación con un hombre que era sicario. Why? Why would you ever do that? Oh, now that I have two kids, let me get into a relationship with a guy who kills people for a living. Cuando lo conocí a él, que era tatuador. Y me di cuenta que él era sicario como... Ya como una semana de estar viviendo con él. 
I would love to know how that conversation went down. Oh, hey, babe, I have an appointment at 2 o'clock. Uh, do you mind handing me my gun over there in the corner? All right, well, I hate to end this so abruptly, but uh, we are still mid-season with these two, so there isn't really that much to talk about yet. Before I go, though, I do want to mention again that I have a Discord server where you can come hang out if you want to. We do game nights sometimes now. And I do have a Patreon as well where I will be posting extra 90-day content. Uh, I'm going to be talking about these two coming up, so that that's going to be a lot of fun. You can only see that over on Patreon. Anyway, that's about all I have for this video, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Strip clubs are fun.